Oh, there you are, YouTube. Hey everybody, we're gonna go to a retro vintage toy show at the mall. It's gonna be a great time. I'm sure they got all sorts of cool things. Let's see what I buy. Maybe we'll show a little haul at the end. Here, let's check it out. Okay, here we are at the mall, ready to look at some vintage toys, starting off with some vintage Star Wars. Vin I don't know, this is like, you know, the prequels, so it's not that old. Look at that, we got some Lord of the Rings happening, I see Venom, I see Angel, a good price on Angel, but I don't really collect Angel. Uh, there's some more Lord of the Rings, an old Popeye. How old is this though? Because some things are built to look retro when they actually aren't. Uh, Wolverine, okay, King Shark, King Shark? Is that his name? All right, what do we got here? It looks like a, an import of uh, James Bond over there. It's some Lego. I imagine some of these gotta be like, you know, like we have these horror characters, so I don't think Lego's putting those out, are they? Are these like custom made? What's, what's happening here? They look awesome though. Be cool to set up a, a horror Lego set. Uh, what is that? Five Nights at Freddy's? I never saw that movie. You got some, got some, uh, Did you uh see the Sonic, Sonic right there. Love Sonic. What else we got? Um, Minecraft. Got some, okay, more Sonic over there. Nintendo stuff. Turtles. This is pretty epic. I love seeing all these. I don't, I don't know what these characters are. Not too sure. These look like they're like massive size or larger characters, I'm guessing. Got some Star Wars, Darth Maul. Awesome. Look at this. Like it's like a you know, mountain range of, of Lego characters. This is pretty awesome. Oh, wow. And stay puffed. Hello. That is cool. Got some more horror examples. Yeah, all those Sonic toys. Cool stuff. Oh yeah. Look at that, he's in a winter outfit. I haven't seen these in forever. I used to play with these all the time when I was a kid. My neighbor had a bunch of them. What are these? I think they're called like muscle men, something like that. I can't remember now. What do they do? There was like this little platform you could put them in and they would like fight each other. You can make them fight. Oh, cool. Toxic Crusaders. Oh, man. Those are awesome. Alien. Right there I had one of those alien figures. The one that, like, spits. I think it was called, like, the... I don't remember what it was called. Bull Alien or something? The one on the left? Um, let's see. More alien. Love those. That's taking me back. Oh, so is he, man. Oh, man, that's awesome. Buzz off. Two-headed guy here. Webster. I still have my Webster. I still have that to this day. Moment yeah. Don. We like him. One of our favorite characters. Mace Windu. Uh, what else we got? Cyclops. Got some X-Men here, but I'm looking for Beast specifically. No Beast. Not in that area anyway. Let's see what else we got. G.I. Joe, more Star Wars, Turtles, Batman, Penguin, King Kong, Godzilla, Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is like Moma Nadon back when he was Hammerhead, like that's true vintage. So that is, that's epic. see some X-Men over there, but let's take a look at some of the Star Wars. It's a trap. Don't forget, it's a trap. Alright. Alright, X-Men 97. Okay. So this line, they have not announced a beast. They haven't made a beast yet. Has me worried the beast isn't going to be in the show much. I mean, I know he's going to show up in the show, but I, I, I'm scared he's going to have a small part. 
because there's no action figure for him. That Sentinel's pretty cool. Look at this. Oh man, Castle Grayskull. That is awesome. Got some other things here. Got some mini metallic X-Men, some giant X-Men. There's Bishop, Rogue. And back here we got Cable, looking enormous. That's awesome. I do have the Beast version that they put out of that. Okay, got some He-Man stuff, Masters of the Universe. Barney, what? Okay, look at all this Iron Man over here. Hello, Superman. Turbo Man. See, they got everything. Boss Nas. These are good price. I like Mark. So, you know, they, they have little stickers on them, but the bin, they're marked down to three. Three bucks. So that said four, but it's actually three. This is cool. This is a little gold mine. Now, these are actually more expensive. This is the Ghostbusters movie that people aren't a fan of. But look, the prices of those figures are kind of high. Is that because the movie's kind of like a failure? So it makes them maybe more collectible or something? I like those classic ones, though. Grew up with those Ghostbusters. Grew up with these He-Man figures also. I think my favorite was Mecha Neck. I always liked him. Oh yeah, I used to collect those cards. It was like garbage pail baseball players, sort of like. It was awesome. Got all these movies. Dick Tracy. Lion King, Batman. Ninja Turtles 2. Matrix movies. Hello, Chucky. Got a lot of cool horror stuff going on. Look at that. Signed stuff. Turtles. I had a lot of turtles. Still have my turtles. Some A nice spawn right there. Zombie. Signed Rogue. Signed by the voice actor for the animated series. King Kong. Oh man, this stuff like takes me back to when I was very little. All the He-Man stuff, Masters of the Universe. I mean, I loved playing with that stuff. I don't know the newer lines though. I haven't like kept up. I really only know the stuff from when I was little. Back in the 80s, like I'm talking when I was really little. I didn't, wow. I don't have many memories from the 80s. I was just so young back then. Dinosaurs. C-3PO, you're my favorite. Ben Quadraneros. Man, he's playing of the apes things. These are awesome, but wow. Expensive. Oh my goodness, look at that. They want 300 bucks for this. Wow. Maybe it's worth it though. These are not for sale, but they look awesome. Oh my goodness. Hello, Mandalorians. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, back from the toy show. Let me show you a little bit of a, a haul that we got. We didn't get anything major, but we got some cool stuff. Uh, we'll start off with the kids and my wife, what they got, and then we'll move on to me. So here's what they got. So these are the stickers that we got for the kids. They got Bluey, a show that they like. It's like an Australian show. I uh, got the Bluey family here, uh, Bluey and uh, her dad and then I think this is just a random cute puppy and a random cute tiger and Then I got a sticker as well because it was five for two. So I got this cool Beetlejuice one And then got this pin too. This is uh, Elizabeth she picked this out very cool. The truth is out there big X-Files fans And now here's what I got I picked up this $3 action figure. It was $3 because it's not complete. It is missing some of the pieces, but for what I need it for, for what I wanted, I thought it was cool to get anyway. And that is a uh, X-Men action figure. It's not Beast. I collect Beast action figures, uh, but it is Mojo. 
right there if you know Mojo from X-Men. I just, if, so I'm, I was big on the X-Men animated series when I was a kid. And Mojo, his episode, I don't even know if I liked it, but I, it was so unique, it was so obscure that it always stood out to me. It had like, you know, Mojo is, is kind of like comedy or something. I don't know, that episode, like if you listen to the score for that episode, it's like humorous and silly. He's like a game show host. He, it's, it's just, he's a, he's a strange character. And I was like, you know what? He's always fascinated me, even though that episode is just such a total tonal shift from the rest of the show. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and buy this uh, figure. So it has uh, not all the parts, but it did come. So here's Mojo, first off, um, right here, sitting in that chair, got all sorts of wires connected to him. And I'll show a, a, a better image of him once I got them all pieced together here in a moment, because I, I see there is a lot of glare there. Uh, but right here uh, has like little, I don't know, scorpion tail thing. We're gonna put that on. I think that goes here, looks like it does anyway. So we got that, and then there's a little button here. It's like, whip, -sha! Ha -ha! whip crack with the rubber tail. Hello, right there. And then you'll notice here, we have some holes here, and then three on this side, and then three on this side. And I think, or at least I know these are for legs. I can't really remember. Does he have legs up here too, or maybe arms or something? But anyway, so that would suggest, um, what is that, eight legs or something? We don't have all eight legs. Uh, we don't even have six legs. <laughs> we only have four. But for what I need it for, you know, a $3 toy, I'm okay with that. So let's put together these mojo legs here. There's one. See, it looks kind of spider-ish. Uh, it's like we're watching Wild Wild West with Will Smith or something, right? Right there. Almost in a Superman film written by Kevin Smith. Anybody get that reference that I'm throwing down? So we're putting these legs on, and he'll still stand on these. I did test it out already. So, I mean, you know, his weight will push him down a little bit, but look at that. Okay, so I'm going to take him back here to the shelf so we can get a, a better look. But I'm pleased with this. I just need something for display. This weird little guy, weird big guy right there, Mojo. Let's take a look. All right, here he is. Look at that, see? There's a little space under there, so it's, they still do hold him up. We got the little scorpion tail there. Sorry, I'm creating a shadow on, on him, aren't I? Let me give him a little spin here. Maybe close up on his face. Look at that. Mojo. Mojo. Yeah, he's just like a... You know, a sinister yet silly person, thing, alien. Game show host, if you will. The arms articulate, they go up. You can see him maybe directing scenes here. All right, look at that. Look at these arms. There was like a character in the first Blade movie that always sort of reminded me of Mojo. You know who I'm talking about? I think he sat on a computer or something. I even wondered if it was Mojo, but that person was a vampire, I believe, and not Mojo. There's a nice close-up on his face. I like all the the wiring up there kind of functioning as a visual for hair, but clearly it's also him uh, using, I'm guessing, like using his brain to um, control the legs and the scorpion tail and... Uh, all sorts of different things. Pleased to meet you, Mojo. Shaking your hand here. Nice to meet you. What do you think of your new home? I'm sure Beast will be really kind to you. Anyway, this is Mojo, and this is what I picked up. Three bucks, incomplete, but still, I like it. I'm pleased. Thank you so much for joining us at this vintage retro toy and comic show. Really means a lot. And thanks for checking out the haul as well. And I don't know, do you collect vintage toys? Do you collect vintage comics? Do you have this mojo here? Did you get any of the stickers or the pins that we got? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on all of this? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching again. And perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout. <laughs> Yeah.